Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to help you learn how to understand the difference between a Photoshop action and Photoshop overlay. Now this tutorial is going to be great for all of my Photoshop beginners out there. So if you are watching and you are a beginner, let me know. Type down in the comments, yes, or that's me, so I know where all of my beginners are. And it is okay to be a beginner. We all start somewhere. Now Photoshop actions and Photoshop overlays are different, and I want you to understand the difference between the two. Now, I'm going to start by using a Photoshop action, which is a recorded set of steps that are done inside of Photoshop. Now, actions have to be recorded and loaded into the actions panel, which is right over here. Now, if you're not sure how to get to the actions panel, let me just X out of there. You would go to Window, Actions, and you'll see any actions you have loaded up here. Now, if you have a set of actions, you would load them into the actions panel by going up to these horizontal lines and clicking the load actions. If you don't have a set of Photoshop actions already, I have a set for you. I'm going to be working here with the freebie Cozy Clicks sampler action pack. There's actually two of them that I have. So if you don't have those, I will put a link in the description below. You can download, try them out. Okay. So I'm going to go to that sampler pack. And when you download a set of actions, you're going to want to look for this, which is an ATN file. Okay, that is the action file. And you're just going to click on that. And when you click that ATN file, it's automatically going to load up into this action panel over here. Once the actions are loaded, you can click any action and you can see the results or you can see what steps were recorded that are now going to be onto your photo. For these Cozy Clicks freebie actions, I'm going to hit the play all. There are four actions that are included plus a web sharpening action that are included for you. So these are going to be play and these were all pre-recorded steps. So in just a second, I'm going to show you what they will look like on your photo. Now, once you push that play all button, you'll see over here in the adjustment layer panel, the different actions that have loaded. For this play all one, none of them are turned on. So you can just turn on each individual action and you automatically will see the result it has on your photo. Now these and any action might not look good on every single photo that you're trying to use them on. And some actions are very specific in what they intend to do. So you want to make sure you're really looking at that beforehand. Now these four actions just help with some creative toning within your photo. Let me show you a couple of the other ones. So you can see the different looks each action makes. Inside most actions, you can usually adjust any part of each action if you don't like the intensity of one. So by clicking on the arrow next to an action, you can turn off or on any part of the action, or if you click on one of the layers inside the action, you can reduce or intensify by increasing or decreasing the opacity. So you can really hone in and get the look you want with actions. So just kind of summing up on that, actions have to be loaded in and you use that ATN file. Once you are in the action panel over here, you hit play on any of the ones that you want to use and make your adjustments. Okay, so you got it? Photoshop actions are a recorded set of actions that you have to load into Photoshop and play to get the results. Now, a Photoshop overlay is a little bit different, and I have a free one for you to play around with here too. So if you check that link in the description below, you can download the free Photoshop overlay and see the difference for yourself. Once you've downloaded them, let me know you have them too. Just say yes, or I've got them so I know that you are able to play with them and that you've downloaded the freebie set from Cozy Clicks. So make sure to let me know in a comment below. Now, to get the overlay, you don't actually load it into Photoshop. You don't load the overlay into the action panel because overlays are not actions. They're actually a file that stands on its own, like a JPEG or a PNG file. Now, to place an overlay on your image, what you want to do is you want to go to File, you want to go to Place or Place Embedded, 
and you're going to find the file where that overlay is. Now here, it's going to be in that freebie photo resource pack that you just downloaded, but if you've gotten overlays from somewhere else, all you do is you find where you downloaded that overlay from. I'm going to click the free autumn overlay, and I'm going to click this one here, and you see it places directly over my image. So it's a separate image altogether. It's not a recorded set of actions. Once that overlay is placed, you can move it around to where you want to move it to. You can also make it bigger or smaller, and you can adjust by using any blend modes that you would like to use too. Let me show you on this one. So the autumn overlay from Cozy Clicks is meant to tone your image with autumn-like tones. So let's click to set this overlay directly over our image, and you can see that overlay is right here in our adjustments layer panel. Now with that overlay selected, I'm gonna turn my blend mode to soft light or overlay, and that instantly is gonna create great autumn tones. Now some overlays aren't for toning. You might have sky overlays, or you might have composite type overlays, or texture overlays. Different types of overlays will achieve different results, but an overlay is a completely different file that is placed on top of your image, not a recorded set of actions like a Photoshop action. Does that make sense? I know this is a lot, especially if you're a beginner, but once you get the hang of it, I promise you guys are gonna have so much fun. So give it a try. Practice working with Photoshop Actions and practice with Photoshop Overlays and see what you like better. Some people prefer one over the other and some use both together. Also, if you don't have any Actions or Overlays, make sure to download the Cozy Clicks freebie pack so you can try it out on your own. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would love if you would subscribe over on YouTube because I have new Photoshop tutorials out for you all the time so you can keep learning more about Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching, you guys.